What is going on guys? Welcome back for another video and today I'm going to be comparing the Sitka duck oven to the Drake LST equator jacket. So to start this all out I just want to tell you I am not sponsored by Sitka and I am not sponsored by Drake. I own both of these jackets and I've used them in the field actually duck hunting for I wore this one two seasons ago and I wore this one this past season and I've got some stuff I want to share with you about the pros and cons between these two jackets. Let's start this out with the duck oven. I'm going to throw this on here and give you guys a little bit of info on the Sika jacket. Starting out with the duck oven here, it's about 300 bucks and there's pockets everywhere in this thing. It's got pockets down here. They're fuzzy on the inside, nice and warm. And you got a zipper pocket right here. So you can throw my, I find myself throwing my cell phone or something in there and just zipping that up so it's secure. On the inside, there's another pocket right here. Just a little one. And on this side, there's a pocket right here. Fuzzy on the inside once again. And then on the top, there's two pockets to shove your hands in. Like if you're in waders, you can put your hands in these top pockets. But other than that, that is the only pockets in this jacket. So you got these, you got this one, you got these two down here, and you got the one on the inside. Not a whole lot of pockets, but I don't find myself using pockets for anything other than like my cell phone or my wallet or something. Don't really need a whole lot of pockets because I've got a blind bag for that reason. The duck oven has permaloft insulation in it, which helps keep it super lightweight and really warm. And it also has Gore-Tex wind stopper technology in it. Um, so blocks the wind, keeps you nice and warm. In my own personal experience, I find that it's not really the outside temperature that's the coldest. It's when the wind is blowing and it gets onto your skin. Having some wind stopper um, technology, just something to block the wind completely to where you don't feel it, makes a huge difference. I've got a windproof hoodie that I wear all the time and I would wear that over any other hoodie, just me personally. Another thing about the Sitka jacket is that it doesn't have a whole lot of puffiness to it. It's real, real slim and fits nice, kind of tighter fitting, and the bottom of it doesn't have a whole lot of insulation in it, if you guys can tell, and that's so then you can put it in your waders. You can pull your waders or your bibs over it, and it fits in there a little better. It's not bulky, and you don't really notice it as much. So those are just kind of the things about the duck oven here, just some attributes that it has, pockets and zippers and it's windproof and it's got the permaloft insulation so it's really lightweight. Moving on to the Drake jacket here. This is a three in one. I'll get into that in just a little bit but we'll throw this puppy on here. So this Drake jacket is roughly 260 bucks if you go to buy it. There are quite a few things about this jacket that the Sika does not have. And so starting out you'll notice there's some big pockets down here on the bottom and you open them up and they stay open. So those are for holding your shotgun shells and such and those just kind of snap closed. And you've got another zipper here, right behind that another pocket. You got a pocket up here, you got a magnetic pocket right here. You've got a zipper pocket right here. Oh, that was unzipped. We got a zipper pocket right here, same thing on this side. You got two pockets right here to shove your hands in, right there, and if I'm not, yep, there we go, there's two up here. So then if you're in your waders, you can throw your hands up there. And then on the back, there's also a zipper somewhere over here, right here. There's a zipper pocket on the back. I've never used that for anything, but there's that. That's the outside shell of this. But if you open this up, there's going to be a lighter weight jacket on the inside of it. So it just unzips. So if you get hot, you don't need that outer layer. You just go ahead and unzip that and you've got a lighter weight jacket right here. And there you go. you got a lighter weight jacket inside that bigger coat. So if you don't want something that heavy, if it's hot outside or something, you want to shed a layer, you have this. And this one has the same magnetic pocket. It's got two pockets down here. It's got a zipper pocket right here. And I think that's pretty much it for the pockets on that. And it also goes one step further. I've never done this before. Uh, but the sleeves do come off of this and you can turn it into a vest. So there we go, now we have the vest in this jacket. So it's the three in one. There you go, you've got a nice little vest to wear if you don't want to wear a big jacket or anything, you're wearing a hoodie, you just want a little bit of extra something something. There you go, you got a vest. I've actually never done this before, 
but I might end up doing it in the future, we'll see. Three in one, it also has a hood. I don't have the hood on, it's in a box in my storage unit somewhere. I hate wearing hoods, so uh, don't have them on that jacket. It is waterproof and windproof. Um, I don't know exactly how good the waterproofing is on it, but it, it does keep you pretty warm. The jacket itself, if you got the full thing together, I think it's really heavy and I oftentimes wear it over my waders instead of inside my waders just because of those big pockets. But if I strip it down to this inside jacket with the sleeves, I would shove that inside my waders or inside my bibs. But if I've got the whole thing going, it's going over on top of everything. So that is a brief overview of these two coats and I want to give you guys my own personal opinion on which one I feel is better and the reasons why I think that. They're both good jackets, don't get me wrong, but I do feel like the Sitka is better than the Drake. And for a $40 price difference, I would recommend this over that any day of the week. It is worth the extra $40 that you'll spend. One of the reasons why I feel like this Sitka is better than the Drake is that it's very lightweight in comparison and it is a lot less bulky. And for me, that is perfect. That is exactly what I want. I don't wanna wear a big heavy coat. If this keeps me just as warm as the big heavy one, I'm gonna wear this every day of the week. And with it being less bulky, that's a plus for me because if I'm in a layout line, I don't want to be wearing a big bulky jacket or I don't want to have to haul that around in the marsh and have just big bulky everything, carrying decoys, gun, bag, everything. Being able to have something a little bit slimmer, sleeker, and just as warm, perfect. I could really care less about how thin it is on the bottom to fit in my waders or in my bibs. I just, it, bottom line is keeping me warm and being lightweight and not being very bulky. Uh, pockets, I could really care less. As long as I got a place to put my hands on my phone and a couple things, that's all I need. And the Sitka, you know, it's got a phone pocket, hand pocket, and a couple other pockets if I need it. But most of the time, if I've got something, I'll just put it in my bag. All I gotta say is that this Sitka jacket, it is worth every penny that you will spend on it. And you will love wearing this jacket when you're hunting or if you're fishing when it's cold outside, if you're just wearing it walking to class or work or school or whatever you're doing. You can wear this every single day in the winter time and be perfectly happy. Wear a sweatshirt under it if you're hunting in a little colder weather and you'll be very warm. I was very impressed with this jacket from the minute I got it and put it on and started wearing it in the field. I could definitely tell that I was gonna like wearing this one way better than that Drake. And after using it for this whole season, I it blew my mind, really. It, it, this jacket, <laughs> I recommend it to anybody. I know there's a lot of hardcore Drake fans out there. Drake makes some good stuff, but I don't think this sizes up to the Sitka jacket. All you timber hunters are probably gonna like having these big pockets and a lot of places to put things because you don't wanna have to carry a, a bag in or take up room in the boat or whatever. That's fine, get the, get the Drake jacket. But for if you're like me and you like packing light, you like being able to wear something that's a little thinner, not as bulky, super lightweight, windproof, go with the Sitka. I know the price tag on these is pretty steep, $260 and $300, that's a lot of money. I would say that this jacket right here is one of the most important pieces of equipment that I can carry with me while I'm going out duck hunting. I hunted for a while without a big jacket like this, I was just layering up real good, wearing a waterproof outside layer of a jacket that my buddy gave me, and you know, I was cold and miserable quite a bit. But once I got that Drake jacket, started wearing that, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is making a huge difference. So if you are concerned about spending that kind of money on a jacket, do it. I, you will not regret it. If you are anything like me, you're gonna look at that price tag and be like, ah, is it worth it? I, I'm fine wearing all the layers I'm wearing. But if you invest in it, it's gonna make a huge difference and you're gonna enjoy every minute of hunting a lot more because you're not gonna be cold. If you have a duck oven or a Drake LSC or any other jacket, leave in the comments what you guys like to use and wear when you're out in the field. I'd love to hear it and I'm sure everybody watching this video is gonna be like, oh, do I wanna get this jacket or that jacket? They search it on YouTube and they find this video. But if you guys are subscribers of mine and you're watching this, leave in the comments what you guys like to wear for the outside coat. The big one, the big January, middle of the winter storm coat that you're gonna wear, mine's that duck oven right there. I wanna know what you guys like to wear and give some pros and cons to what you guys have. I don't think I went over any cons with the duck oven other than it not being waterproof. That's like the only thing, but not a huge deal for me. If you guys wanna follow me on my social media, I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. 
But that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one.